Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the last book in the Allie Finkel School for Allie Finkel's Rules for Girls, not schools or rules, um, by Meg Cabot. This is book six, Blast from the Past. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please go back to the beginning. Um, check under my playlist for Meg Cabot. Um, so these are the Allie Finkel books. This is a I'm not saying it's middle grade, it's late elementary because Allie Finkel is in the fourth grade. So this is late elementary. Um, though I would definitely recommend this for middle schools as well, um, girls. It's definitely preteen, preteen um, girls or girl presenting, if you're interested. Uh, so in this last book, what's going on is Allie's class is going on a field trip to a pioneer village because they're studying pioneer times, which is what you do in fourth grade. And yes, this is what I did in fourth grade too, oddly enough, even though I, I was in fourth grade in Hawaii. For some reason, it was fourth, yeah, pretty sure, yeah. It was fourth or fifth grade. <laughs> I think it was fourth grade. Um, where we were going over the Oregon Trail and pioneers. I don't know if this is universal, but again, Allie's in Maine. I don't know where that Meg Cabot is. Um, and I was in Hawaii. So it, it, it's pretty common. Uh, at least it was when I was a kid. Moving on. So they're going to the Pioneer Village. Unfortunately, they are sharing a bus with Allie's old fourth grade class from her old school. So. <laughs> and they want to dress. And of course, Cheyenne ends up showing up dressed very antebellum. She's in a giant hoop skirt, which no, the pioneer women would not be in hoop skirts, nor around the Oregon Trail were hoop skirts common. This was the bustle era, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, so no, hoop skirts, were, not to mention they're not certainly not wearing hoop skirts. Uh, on the Oregon Trail or in Pioneer Villages. They're wearing layers of skirts, but they're not wearing giant hoop skirts. Um, so I don't know whether they're covering the late 1800s or what, but still, um, hoop skirts. But yeah, again, when you're, you're, you're traveling, you're giving up everything, you're not bringing hoop skirts. Um, and again, also, mind you, Wyatt Earp was later and those were, that was the bustle era. So moving on, but that Cheyenne being Cheyenne, if you're familiar with this series. <laughs> I'm trying to know that but how the heck did she get on a public bus with a hoop skirt? As much as the fact that they collapsed, they're, they're still a hoop skirt. Moving on. Um, so they are sharing a bus with Allie's old class, which means her old friend Mary Kay and Brittany and basically the girls from the birthday party in the last book. <laughs> and they end up being split into groups and Allie is stuck with some very annoying boys as well as everybody but Courtney. So every she, she's pretty much surrounded by the mean girls in this group and fights break out and eventually her teacher gets ticked. Um, and when they start fighting, I think the main argument was Brittany was uh, complaining that their school was less than was poorer and worse than the, of course, the much fancier public school that Allie was going to in the suburbs. Also because Allie's new school is downtown and much, much smaller, as in their cafeteria and their gym and their auditorium is all one building. <laughs> as opposed to, say, her other school where they had a boys and girls gym as well as everything was separate. It started a fight. Obviously, Miss Hunter, her teacher, gets royally pissed off. Now, her teacher actually gets engaged in this one. Um, you find that out because her boyfriend shows up and throwing rocks at the window, and she gets irritated. <laughs> he periodically gets irritated, but she separates them out, and they'd actually one of the kids in her Allie's class threw up on the on the bus, as happens, and people were making fun of him, and yeah, they had been stole stealing his hat which was his uncle's, which is his uncle's favorite hat. Um, so her teacher gets pissed off and starts separating people into groups. And she 
and Cheyenne ends up with Miss Hunter, <laughs> which obviously Allie ends up with Mary Kay. So, and they go through things and they're very ugly. Everybody's kind of miserable and bickering. And then Mary Kay gets stung by a bee and Allie helps her. Because, and of course, all the other friends back off. And Miss Hunter is very happy. And also her and Mary Kay end up chat fighting. And Mary Kay had revealed that Allie writes in a journal, a book, a basically book of rules. And she comes to find out that Washington, George Washington had done the same thing. He wrote a book of rules. So to her, that's very, very cool. Because it's like, oh, the nation's president, um, first president actually did this too. Um, so, but she helps Mary Kay out. Uh, Mary Kay is actually getting mad at her because she, again, because she didn't let Allie didn't let her know that basically she has a giant bee sting. So, but her, Miss Hunter is very, very happy that because Allie did the right thing and how she also realized she was helping protect this other boy who was being picked on. Because that's, and to Allie, that's just, it's just the thing you do. It, for her, it's like, of course she was going to stand up for him. He may be gross, but again, she doesn't want him being bullied. So, and then, of course, they're first forced to work together, and Allie just kind of learns that about accepting her friends for who they are, and accepting that there's going to be mean girls, and that's just kind of kind of be the thing. And that's really the kickst of the end of this series. And her parents also agree to let her get a cell phone when she's in fifth grade, and that's how the book series kind of ends. And I do, I did enjoy this book series. Um, I obviously don't have a copy there. They're around 200 pages or less, um, a little bit less. They obviously, Allie is in the fourth grade, so it appeals to female or female presenting of that late elementary age and of the trials and tribulations of the fourth grade where you're not quite boy crazy and you're just kind of starting to grow up in that sense. It's like you're nine, 10 years old, you're just getting into the preteen, what we now call tween um, era. Puberty is on the horizon, and there's a lot of conflicts with the friends and growing up and the popular girls versus the non-popular girls, and the, but the boys are still little boys and are still kind of gross to girls. And they th the boys still think girls are gross. The girls are slowly kind of finding them interesting. And it, it, you're on that verge. And yes, Allie's still into Barbies. Um, and she, they're still kind of that, you're on that cusp of growing up and becoming a teen, but you're not quite there yet because you're still a kid because you're like nine, 10 years old. So, and it, it's a fun book series. This one is definitely Allie confronting her demons, so to speak. She's confronting really and going face to face with, these are her new friends, this is her new school, this is the old friends, and standing up for people in her classes and learning different things and realizing that no, her rules aren't dorky at all, completely dorky after all. So, and it's like she admits that, yeah, I'm dorky, I'm funny, I'm quirky, uh, and I'm happy with that. So it's kind of very similar to the Princess Diaries in that ending where they come to the realization of they are happy in their own skin. Now, is this normal for a nine-year-old? Maybe not. Still a lot of growing to do. But this is the end of the series. Um, I do recommend it. It's very fun. It's very fluff. It's very much the preteen learning lessons through life type of story. Very much the coming of age stories which are very, very fun. Um, the Princess Diaries are very, very similar in that. It's very much the coming of age. So of course, um, the Princess Diaries, she's older. And then the no Diaries of no Notebooks of Middle School Princess, again, she's in middle school. And then of course, Mia gets into adulthood. Um, and by the time you see this, I will have completed the Princess Diaries series. I still have Quarantine Princess, but this is being filmed at the end of March of 2023. Quarantine Princess just came out like two weeks ago, so I haven't had a chance to read it. So, and I will probably end up buying it because I like the adult series. So, 
but you can check those out um, if you're interested more in my Meg Cabot series. Unfortunately, she's not on my menu, uh, on my list for 2024. Um, I have some other stuff that's coming in um, the next series. Um, if you're watching this as it come out, is going to be, we're going back to Catherine Lasky. I'm going to review, I think there's just three books in The Wolves of Beyond, and then I'm going to go to their Polar Bear series. Then I'm going to do three books um, in The Animorphs. This is just the uh, recent graphic novels, because that's what I can get a hold of. Then we're going back in time. I'm going and doing in-depth looks at the Anne of Green Gables series. So I'm going to cover all of her books, all of the books in the Green Anne of Green Gable series, which should end with Rilla of Ingleside, which is uh, Anne's youngest daughter. And then I'm going to look at her short stories. Then I'm covering all four of the Sullivan films, um, Anne of Green Gables, Anne of Avonlea, and the continuing story, which has nothing to do with the books whatsoever. There's a whole big fight between him and the family. Um, and the New Beginning, which is a prequel so you go back and look at Anne's background, which I don't think is <laughs> has anything to do with the books either. And then I'm going to be looking at The Road to Avonlea, which is a TV series that I watched when I was young. Seven part TV series. I'm gonna do one season per video uh, that I now own. I have not seen since I was a child. Um, that is loosely based on some of uh, Elma Montgomery's short stories, which I am covering as well. I am going to cover, she has three short story collections, one of which didn't come out until 1999, which is the, um, I think the Blythe's Remembered or something of the sort. So I'm going to be covering all of that. Then we're going into the Boxcar Children, and to balance that, I'm going to be covering a bunch of uh, mystery TV shows, family oriented. And then we're going into the Wings of Fire, which I have no idea what is. I don't know if I'm balancing anything off of it because I don't know enough about it. So that is what is incoming series-wise. Um, what's coming um, theme-wise is I'm gonna cover some January. We're covering a little bit of some different, say hobbies, because it is National Hobby Month, but glass blowing, um, armor making, sword making. Um, I think I did pottery as well, I'm not sure. Um, and then I'm covering Black History Month. I know I'm kind of like cover, covering Angel Island. In April, I'm looking at books and films from the Titanic. Um, and that is, I think I'm doing Beauty and the Beast this year. Um, I could be wrong. Um, I know that's on my, um, no, I'm covering the Space Age in October. I'm kind of reading Diwali in November. I'm covering more mysteries coming next December. Um, yes, I am covering Beauty and the Beast this year, so that should be September. Um, so, and I'm also covering Inventors this year. So I think that that is it, and possibly cooking. Having cooking popping up here, uh, <laughs> which should be interesting. Um, and I believe I'm covering immigration in the Ellis Island as well. So Ellis Island and Angel Island. Um, I think Angel Island is coming first. So that is it for this uh, review and uh, update of what's <laughs> coming. Um, if you like what you see or like what you hear about me describing, like and subscribe and leave a positive comment if you have one. Thank you.